Hey, it's Will. Particle dispersion is a really cool effect that anybody with Photoshop can do. So before you start, you'll want to have a subject like this, a copy of it that I've named particles, and a background. Background doesn't have to be complicated, I just made a gradient solid with some tweaks and put it behind my subject. Once you have all of that, begin by hiding your subject. Now we're going to select the particles layer and go to Filter, Liquify. Crank up your pressure and density and take some time to stretch the back of your subjects out as far as you can like this. And while you're at it, maybe make sure to apologize to the model for what you've done because... Yeah, this, this part doesn't look great, I know. Once you're done though, hit OK. Now while holding Alt or Option, make a layer mask on the Liquify layer. Since we held down Alt, it's gone ahead and erased everything for us ahead of time. Now make your subject visible again and add a layer mask the normal way this time. Get out your brush, and I'd really suggest finding some good effect brushes online for this, but I'm going to use the ones that come standard with Photoshop just to show you you can still do something cool without them. Choose one of the splatter brushes, and with the color set to black and the brush size pretty small, carefully trace your subject's form like this. Don't go overboard, just go slow and gently erase parts of the subject with the splatter brush. Now go back to the particles layer, set the brush color to white, increase the size, and still gently, but a little more so now, just paint those particles on. As you might guess, this is taking the coloring from the lower layer and making it look like it's falling off of the subject. I like to start with the brush at a medium size near the model, and then as I get further away, I get bigger and I use fewer clicks. Now for an optional bonus step, right click on your subject layer and rasterize it. Now get out your pen tool and make a wavy, uneven path down their body. You barely want anything in there. Close it off and bring up your dotted lines, and then just nudge the selection a little bit over with your arrow keys. And this just makes it look like parts of her are breaking off in bigger chunks than the rest of it, and I just think it makes it look cooler. To wrap up, we're just going to add a gradient map. So click on it here and then set it to soft light. Now play around with it and find a color that works for your piece like I am, and you're done! Now you know the basics for how to do a cool particle dispersion effect in Photoshop. By the way, instead of creating this effect on your own, consider the amazing particle dispersion templates we've already got ready to go for Photoshop. All you need to do is import your photo into the template, and within a second, your photo has the particle dispersion effect applied to it. You can check out our Photoshop templates with the link in the video description below.